At noon, this bridge is made for walking, and that's just what you'll do now that they've cut the ribbon on the new Providence River Pedestrian Bridge, where NBC 10's Jared Pelletier is standing by. Jared, it wasn't cheap, but it is pretty. Gene, good afternoon. The price tag for this project has changed dramatically from when it was first thought about. The initial plans were expecting this to be about a $2 million bridge. The final price tag for this, closer to $22 million. That's what taxpayer dollars will buy you. The wait is over. The long-awaited Providence River pedestrian bridge is open. It's great. We've been really looking forward to it. It's a project that's taken decades to take shape. Initial plans first formed in the mid-90s. While today marks the end of its planning and construction chapters, it also marks the beginning of its new chapters. The new pedestrian bridge spans across the Providence River, connecting land on both sides of it, in the area of Southwater and James Streets to Dyer and Dorrance Streets. This is, as Director Alvidi said, a link between the east side and the west side. It is gorgeous. The cost has been a sticking point with critics. Initially, officials thought this would be a simple bridge costing about $2 million to build. But after public input, design changes, and construction delays, the final price tag is nearly $22 million. Some wonder if money would have been more wisely spent on crumbling schools or existing roads and bridges, given the fact that reports indicate Rhode Island has some of the worst in the nation. 22 million? Serious? Damn, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm inclined to think it's worth it because of the social uh, value of, of the bridge. Features include Brazilian hardwood, benches, and chessboard stations. With all that and iconic views on either side, officials here believe it'll be a hit with residents and attractive to potential developers in the area. One concern many people already have is how will the city, the state, be able to prevent people from physically destroying the bridge or vandalizing it in the form of graffiti? I did speak with Providence's public safety commissioner. He told me there are some plans that they will be implementing. He didn't want to give specifics, though, because, of course, if people know about how they're going to protect the bridge, then they will try to get around those plans. We're live in Providence this afternoon. Jared Pelletier, NBC 10 News.